I am an optimist. I'm a glass half full, look on the bright side, could be worse kind of person. I love to laugh, I love to smile, and my deepest flaw is a crippling addiction to chocolate spread. <laughs> However, I have not always been that person. It wasn't long ago that I found myself in a hole, a deep, dark hole, but it is my escape that I'd like to share with you all today. A few years ago, COVID struck, and with it, it uprooted our livelihoods as we knew it. Schools, stations, shops, all closed overnight. We were barred from seeing those we loved, and all the while, our mental health was taken hit after hit, and we were unable to reach out to anyone. So, like many people, I found myself was drowning in the pessimism, this endless bad news. Unlike many people, however, I managed to sink to a new low, previously thought unattainable by humanity. By which, I mean, of course, that my madness was such, I had begun to write poems about household objects. For example, there was a rubber duck named Jack with two eyes of dark button black. He swam in the bath, and oh, how we laughed as he bobbed and floated along. Quack. <laughs> it is at this point, ladies and gentlemen, confronted with the harsh reality of a badly written limerick about ducks that ought to have been the point of no return for my sanity. But it was a few hours later when I was moping the house and wondering desperately where on earth I'd gone wrong that I realized I'd begun to feel better. And it took me a second to find out what had caused this change, but when I did, everything was upended. You see, I had discovered a love for writing. Not writing well, as you can see, but I decided to indulge myself a little further. So it was that armed with nothing but boredom and Microsoft Word, they began to appear. A short story or description one day, yet more poems the next, and eventually, worlds. And while this meant that no, I was not in control of the crazy, weird, wide world outside, but I was in control of the tiny little one on my computer screen, my world. And this is what I urge all of you to do, should the world ever go to madness again. Take a second to think, what makes me tick? What do I love to do? Through your passion, escape your deep, dark hole. Find your world, and everything in the weird, wiser one will sort itself out in the end, because it always does, always.